Lecture 3 Photographing Living Rooms Each room or space within a home is unique with its own purpose, character, and story. All living spaces, whether rumpus rooms, dining spaces, parents' retreats, media rooms, etc., should feel inviting and warm. You should portray these characteristics in your images, in addition to highlighting the size, seating space, and lighting, natural or artificial. Living areas and dining rooms come in all shapes and sizes and offer a variety of composition options. However, you should consider the purpose of the room, the position of the windows, and furniture placement. For example, if you are photographing a large living room with a scenic view, you should ensure that this view is incorporated into the composition so that the viewer's eye leads through the space and out towards the view. Different homes present different challenges when it comes to shooting the living rooms. Some homes have an open plan design, where the dining area, living room, and kitchen are all in the one open space. Other homes have a partially open plan layout, or all living, dining, and kitchen spaces are separated. It is also beneficial to capture broad shots of each zone separately, that is, kitchen, living room, dining, etc. If the patio, balcony, and alfresca area doors are within these compositions, they usually look best when open to show the functionality of the room. Also, take a few seconds to straighten up furniture if possible, as this can make a huge difference to your photos. Example 1. This image was captured using a 2012 model Panasonic DMC TZ30 point-and-shoot digital camera. The camera was set up on a tripod approximately 1.2 meters from the ground and using the camera's manual setting, in which the shutter speed was adjusted manually to collect three images at different exposures, one optimal at one quarter of a second, followed by one overexposed and one underexposed. The aperture was set the camera's smallest setting of f8 to create a sharp image throughout and also add sparkle to the ceiling lights. The composition places the table in the center of the image to highlight the functionality of the space as well as access pathways down each side, including the halfway of the far right-hand side. The three images were blended by PropertyRender.com using the photo editing service. Example 2 this photo is of an empty living room within a terrace home. As you can see, the main features of focus for this image are the wooden floorboards and the large windows that allow plenty of natural light to enter the room. In this example, the photo was captured using the manual HDR technique through a third-party app, Pro Camera, and a tripod. After setting the camera on the tripod to a height of approximately 1.4 meters, the optimal exposure was captured. Then the exposure compensation was reduced to capture an underexposed image that clearly shows the details outside the windows. The exposure was then increased from the optimal exposure to exposure value plus one to capture an overexposed image that brightened the darker parts of the image. The camera height of 1.4 meters was used to compensate for the extra high ceilings on this property, which also adds value to the property. The three bracketed exposures were then exported and uploaded to PropertyRender.com for editing to get the final result you can see here. Example 3 This example depicts an open plan living and dining area within a house that was photographed using a Nikon D750 in manual mode. The image comprises three exposures, one neutral exposure of 1 20th, 1 one twenty-fifth of a second to underexpose the image, and then the quarter of a second to overexpose the image. The underexposed bracketed image shows the green grass and landscaping clearly in the background, while the overexposed image brings out the details hidden in the dark spots and shadows. The composition places the dining table in the left-hand side of the image and the sofa on the right-hand side, showing clear access through the living space and out to the courtyard. The image shows that there is plenty of natural and artificial lighting within the space and also an air conditioning unit that appeals to most buyers and renters. Example 4 This living room image was captured using a handheld iPhone 11 with its default camera 
and the Smart HDR feature turned on, which means the camera will automatically capture three different exposures in the one photo and blend these together to create a single JPEG image. The composition shows the huge amount of space available in this living room with the amazing views positioned in the center of the frame to catch the viewer's eye. Plenty of natural light is protruding through the large floor-to-ceiling windows and sliding glass patio door. The image also shows the source of ambient light inside the space and in the outdoor dining area. In the before and after image, you can see the difference between the image that was exported from the iPhone on the left and the edited image that had PropertyRender.com's 20-step photo editing process applied to it.